Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Survival Hates Season 2, my implied hardcore single player survival world. Now in 1.20.4, that's right, I went ahead and updated. Why not? I was already doing it off for some other stuff. Might as well update this world as well. But if you guys remember in the previous episode, we went over our New Year's resolutions and our New Year's goals for 2024. I'm pretty excited to start hammering some of those out today. And one of those includes this world, right? So it includes episodes from this world as part of that, as well as the number of days hitting that 3,500 days is our goal for this year. So, 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 so to accomplish that, we got to get some things done, right? <laughs> The plan for today's episode is actually pretty simple. I have one particular goal in mind, and I think it is going to take the whole episode, but I guess we'll kind of see that plan. Let me actually show you what I've, uh, I don't know if, I, if I've actually shown you all this. Let me just head down here and show you. So down the staircase to the left, I think it's over here. Yeah, so over here, I cleared out this whole area here behind the storage system here. And the idea, I'm going to put a wall up right here. The idea here being, I want to have a super smelter back here. So it's going to be long lines of smelters, basically. Uh, I'm not sure how Paul or how exactly I'm going to be doing that yet, but the, the the goal is to work on that today because smelters are something that I've been needing for a long time here in this world. I've been doing some hand smelting, or I have I have basically one auto smelter somewhere, and uh, it's it's not doing the work that I need it to do. So it'd be nice to just have a place that already has fuel that I can already just throw some materials into and get what I need from. So that's what we're going to be doing today, folks. Let me go ahead and get started with today's episode. I want to see if I can design a little a little smelter. Probably use. I've got a couple of designs that I've, I think I've used before that I might try to use here. So let me pull some things together, folks. Let me design some things and I'll show you guys some progress whenever I have some. Well, I've gone ahead and tried to do a bit of a furnace design here, obviously in the theme that we have for the area, the quartz and the deep slate and things like that, just to see what, would it, what it, it will look, look like. Hopefully something that's going to be able to be stackable as well for our area, because obviously we want this to be going vertically. Nah, we don't really have much room horizontally. So this is what I came up with. Row of glass up here so we can see minecarts going back and forth. Essentially, it's a pretty typical design with a hopper minecart, or actually no, a chest minecart, to be able to fill in the top side of the furnaces with whatever we want to smelt, and the bottom side with whatever we want to use for fuel. Probably coal, maybe lava, we'll see. Over here, we've got our output chest. I've already tested it and make sure that, that, that this works. Then over on the right here, we have a hanging, hanging sign with whatever segment this is, regular furnaces, blast furnaces, whatever it might be. Our input chests here and last but not least we've got the lever that turns on the ability for the minecarts to do their thing so oh they are hopper minecarts not not just minecarts my bad so yeah really simple design not much to it but to be fair we don't need much for we just need a bunch of these so we don't have to keep going to random spots around the world to smelt things or just use manual smelters because that's no fun we're supposed to have a pretty epic world here we can't have we can't have an epic world without having some epic smelting. So I'm gonna go ahead, folks, gather these materials over in the hardcore world, and we will see how much I can get done. Oh boy. All right. We made some pretty significant progress, I think, here. Um, I didn't show a whole lot. A lot of things have changed, and I've kind of been playing around with some designs here and there. But I finally got, I think, this actual first layer working. So if you go over to here, the hardest part, I forgot a redstone torch back here, but the hardest part was actually this upper, this upper hopper minecart up here. So if I go over here, click this lever, boom. We've got two minecarts running back and forth. Pretty simple design, but we got to stack this. So getting the, these actual pillars to be aligned correctly has been an issue. Um, getting, making sure that we have this this border here, this column correct, has also kind of been an issue. So I'm still working through that, uh, but I think we're going to stack it vertically. We're going to have 3Ds, of course. We're going to have furnaces. We're going to have blast furnaces and then the smokers as well. So I'm going to have to, I guess, stack them vertically. I think... We're going to need to do kind of similar to this, right? We're going to have to, I think, put a, another one of those layers up there. It leaves me room to do probably a platform up here. That's what I'm, I think I'm going to try to do is put some kind of platform separating these levels so we can kind of walk across each of them and get to these uh, chests over here. So, yeah, this is all I uh, really have to update for now, though. I guess the other thing is that I don't really know what we're going to do here. 
<laughs> this is where there's supposed to be an entrance or some kind of staircase, and it's kind of uh, a bit cramped. So we're going to have to figure that out, but that's kind of a later problem at this point. So I'm going to keep going, folks. I'm, I'm going to see if I can make myself these last two layers here and see what that looks like. All right, I have made some progress. I've got a little bit to show you, but before I show you, uh, I want to let you know that it is uh, the front is a work in progress. <laughs> it is definitely a work in progress, so do not worry about that. I was trying to get a little bit of a shape going on here or try to figure out what kind of shape I want to have here, but it didn't really turn out. I think I need a little more shape on this side, but yeah, we're, we're going to continue to work on that. Anyways, as you can see, this is what I tried to do. So we filled in all the, all the layers here, and I tried to put little sections here, little platforms that we can, if I, I think I have one more... <laughs> A singular ender pearl. We have little platforms here that we can go ahead and walk on and get to all of our furnaces. We have one here. We have one right above this as well. I need to work on the staircase still. I'm thinking we're going to have a spiral staircase going all the way down and just some, like individual platforms coming out to these areas. And then at the very bottom here is kind of where the, the magic is going to happen where the staircase comes down and it leads out to here. So uh, that's where we're going with this. All of the furnaces work and all that. Um, so at least those are functional. And what that means for you guys is the next step is really the, the decorations. One of the big things that I still want to do for this as well, if we can go ahead and stand over here on the iron golem, is I want to build out a platform similar to, if you guys remember over here, we have a little platform that we built out here, which I guess this was a little bit easier. We did have a little bit of a platform that we built out here. Um, I want to try and do something similar over on this area over here. Probably not as big. Probably just a small platform coming off of uh, coming off of the, the side here, but, uh, and we might cover that top area there, but we'll, we'll see. I've got some work to do, so uh, this is just a bit of a progress update for you guys. I made some progress over here on the entrance, and that is what I have so far. So what you'll kind of see is the, there's an interior lining of uh, the pillared quartz, and on the, on the outside we have some stripped oak, that's kind of adding a little bit of detail. I don't know why I went with this, but I really like it. <laughs> I'm trying to stick with, I guess, with some of the same themes, the same themes, right? The quartz and the, the stripped oak, or just oak in general. And over on this side, we did we did quartz over there as kind of an outline. And so I figured I would try that. Got some white glass. Let me know what you think of the white glass and these little windows here. I, I decided to keep this entrance kind of off center, uh, mostly because it's centered with the spelter that's inside of there. But it also gave me some room to put these little windows in here as well, which I think is a really nice aesthetic touch to it. It doesn't really do much. I mean, I mean, you can see out of it, but there's not much to look into. But in terms of the outside aesthetic, I think it worked out pretty well. But yeah, if we jump down into here, I'll show you what it looks like from the inside right now. Yeah, this is basically it. <laughs> Let's do this. Yeah, all of this is going to get textured at some point. You can see it kind of melts in here. <laughs> it intersects with this beam right here as well. All of this is going to get textured at some point. Uh, I don't know when it's going to get textured, but I think it's going to need to in order to look its best. So, yeah, progress is coming along quite smoothly. So I want to take a step back and show you guys a little bit of the other things I've been working on in this world uh, every once in a while, and I started this project, I think a couple episodes ago, every once in a while, I wanna give you guys some updates as to what's going on with this Wither Skeleton Farm project. So if you guys remember, we built a Wither Skeleton Farm. It's currently broken. <laughs> I need to fix it. The Iron Golem keeps dying and my attempts to fix it have not worked out very well. But I've been clearing out this nether fortress here, uh, brick by brick, I've just been tearing it down by hand. The goal here being that we'll have a big uh, nether fortress perimeter or with the skeleton farm perimeter and yeah it was slowly slowly but surely i'm doing some progress here or there you can kind of see it's if you see large gaps between uh day counts it's likely because i've been working more so on this <laughs> than anything else uh whenever i have some free time i just come over here and spend a couple hours just digging out some of the nether brick so yeah i just want to give, give you guys a little update this project is still going on i just don't really plan on showing it too much other than some of these little updates here and there. So, but yeah, anyways, we, we've got more smelter stuff to do. So let's head back to that. I am honestly really happy with how this has turned out so far. Uh, as you can see, I've made some progress, a lot of progress, little details that I wanna go through with you all right now. The biggest ones that you can obviously see being things like little details, the, the oak slabs that I put on these windows here, as well as on top of the entrance here. 
and then you'll see that this whole bottom portion here is now complete. We've got some oak support beams, oak around the edge, some leaves coming down, and a pattern with a deep slate as like a little balcony. This balcony does feel a little bit big, so I'm not sure if I want to taper it back a little bit. But the idea for this balcony being, one, it's a lookout area. But two, if we fly in through Elytra, we get to our smelter just by flying through here and settling right there. So I'm really happy with how that particular detail has turned out. Like I said, the size, maybe we'll change. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys think that we should change that. But uh, I think it's at least good for right now. You'll see I, I did something similar to the lookout, lookout that we have over there. I went ahead and got some of these redstone lamps, as well as the daylight sensors I put on top, inverted daylight sensors, so that these lights only turn on at night and don't turn on during the day, because obviously we don't need them during the day. <laughs> Fences along the side and a little gap in the middle there where we can kind of jump off and go downwards, upwards, wherever we want to go with our elytra. Now if I head back into here, so you can see the pattern here, I went with a whole bunch of different kinds of deep slate. I put in some cracked deep slate tiles in here as well, just to break up the texture just a little bit. I filled in this wall over here with the deep slate tiles, a little bit of oak to fill in those gaps there. And then the last thing I think that we have to do around here is this, the staircase here. So I put in this big quartz pillar here. We're gonna do a bit of a, a spiral staircase all the way down. So I still have to figure out, that's kind of our next step here, but went ahead and put the, en the ender chest as well as a crafting bench over here for use Whenever we go ahead and use these smelters, we might need some lights here and there. I still have these torches here, but I'm really liking how this is actually turning out. So yeah, let's go ahead, folks. I Like I said, I've got a little bit more work to do. We need to work on, in particular, the staircase. And then once the staircase is done, uh, this place should be pretty much done. So I think I have the staircase in now. Let's go ahead and show it. I do think, before I even show that, see on the outside here, we're gonna have to cover this up at some point. But if we go into here, you'll see that I put a lot of deep slate tiles as like the the walls here. Got ourselves a staircase here with the the deep slate bricks and the uh, deep slate tiles here. As we head up as well, you can see I have little pathways onto each individual section, um, as well as I try to make sure as as I was going down here that I had access to these. So I've had, if I had to change blocks around to do that, I went ahead and actually did that. So if we head all the way up here though. This is where we start, obviously, off of our primary pathway, and then we can kind of go on to this area. I don't know what to do with this dirt yet, but we'll figure, figure that out. Put in a ceiling here as well, filled in the roof, basically, um, and then we have our little staircase down here. So I think it's looking pretty darn good, and I'm pretty happy with how things are turning out. But I've got a little test here, so I want to officially test all of these three different smelters. I don't have much coal or really any other fuel source, so I'm using coal for now. Uh, and if I grab this coal, let's go ahead. I don't think there's any coal in these, no. So I wanna go ahead and use these sections over here where these double chests are. So this bottom one here should be coal. Same for up here, that's where our, our fuel source is. And same for up here. Let that do its thing real quick. I think that is, this one is all good to go. So we'll turn this lever. I actually, I guess I have to go down one. Turn that on, let the minecart go. Turn that on, let the minecart go. And then we gotta go all the way back to the top. <laughs> Feels a little weird going up this windy staircase, but all the way back at the top. There we go, get that, get that minecart moving. So if we head all the way down, I can do a little shortcut right there, that's kind of cool. We head all the way down here, let's double check. So this one, I think, yep, 11, 11. Populating all the coal correctly, 12, 13, very good. Should be about the same one off is, is okay. We go up here, just double check these. Yep, yep. And 12 at the end, looks good. And then the next level up, 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 up to this level with our blast furnaces. We've got the coal dispersed properly. Awesome. And each of these, oh, I guess I have a black stained glass in here. Each one of these has an individual chest here so we can use them all separately. I thought about putting them, I think connecting them all up, but we just uh, decided to put them all, I guess with their own <laughs> output chests here. I do need to light up some of these areas. Though. This is getting a little bit dark. All right, so we can go ahead and, and turn those minecart chests off or those hopper minecarts off. So actually before I do that, 
So down here, I have the shulker boxes with essentially a full row of something for each. So these will be for the smokers. These will be for the, uh, whichever one of those furnaces is called blast furnaces. And these will be for the regular furnaces. So let's start at the bottom here. The bottom here, the regular furnaces. Let's grab all of this sand. Let's go over here. Let's turn that off. Let's put the sand in here. It will start populating into the hopper minecart. While that's populated, we can go ahead and grab the stuff for the blast fern. Well, actually, I think it's the smoker next. Smoker is the middle row, right? I believe so. You are indeed the smoker. So we'll go ahead up one more level here. Put in our raw beef. Let that do its thing. Now this bottom furnace should be good to go. So if we go down in here, let's see. Yep, let's go ahead and flip this on. And all of these should be firing on all cylinders. Very nice. This furnace array seems to be working properly. You can stop that minecart real quick. Once it gets back, we can go ahead and let it fill up all the way. Then we'll send it back out again. Oh, it didn't actually disperse everything yet. All right, I think this one is good to go as well. Let's see. Yep, this one is good to go. I can't even reach me. I might turn that into a stair so I can reach. Otherwise, I have to do that, which is kind of annoying. But there we go. And let's go down now to the next level. Down here. And let that stop. All right, this level are all of the, yep, all of the smokers are doing just fine. They're outputting into this chest. Beautiful. Let's double check the row below us as well. Over at this chest over here. Got our glass cooking. Very nice. Very nice. I think we can go ahead and shut this one off probably. Yeah, we can shut, we can shut this one off. Just let it cook. All right, let's grab the raw iron as well and go to the very top. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so this all seems to be working properly. Go down here, we can probably, if this is still going, are you still going? I think the, I think off is, I probably need a sign to say what's off and what's on. Bottom is should be off, top should be on. So maybe I need a sign for that. Do I have any signs here? Okay, I, I think we can turn that off now. But yeah, I went ahead and put these hanging signs here. So blast furnace is the top level with up means that the minecart is on and running. Bottom is off. So it's just kind of not doing anything other than just smelting whatever's already there. Here's the smoker, similar. There's an on off switch down here. You can see it from here. It feels a little weird because of the staircase. It's hard to see things, but it's fine. <laughs> and then we have regular furnace uh, on off, same thing here. So yeah, this is looking pretty good. I think we've got ourselves a functional, a couple of functional furnace setups. This will make things super easy to get smelting done in the future. And maybe I could upgrade this at some point for like a shulker box unloader. That would be a really cool thing to do. But I think for now, this is gonna do what we need it to do. So I'm pretty happy. So since last episode was the New Year's resolutions episode that I uploaded back in January, uh, we didn't do a comment of the video then, so I'm gonna do two for today. So back to episode 31, the comment that I had chosen for that would have been in the New Year's episode is from Hollow Gamble 6630. This comment was from the previous episode saying, uh, repeaters around the golem can stop the archer skelly which I haven't actually tried this yet. This was in reference to our Wither Skeleton Farm, which I mentioned earlier today is already broken. I don't know if I've actually tried repeaters. So I I mostly put down this comment so that I remember to try this and then we'll see what happens. And then the second comment, uh, the comment for today's episode from the previous episode is from Joseph, uh, which said, and I, I'd asked for, for people in that episode to talk about some of their content goals or their, or their just personal goals, whatever New Year's resolutions, if they do those, and put those in the comment section. So Joseph said, yay for more YouTube content. Awesome. Good luck on your goals, man. And congrats on your upcoming wedding. Thank you. Mm, content goals, 2024s, you get, I I guess typo there, to 1K subs, 4K watch hours. That's basically el eligible for the, part for the partner program on YouTube um, and get better at Premiere, maybe learn AE, which is After Effects. Both of, both of those are Adobe products. Very good things to learn um, if you have an Adobe subscription. I use Premiere for editing, so I've been wanting to get into AE uh, at some point, but I just have kept putting it off. 
personal goals, uh, eat better and exercise more and try to not stress on the little things, which is a very, very good goal to have. So very good goals, Joseph. Thank you for the comment. Uh, thank you to Hollow Gamble as well for the comment as well. I will check that out with the, with the skeleton farm. But anyways, folks, that is going to wrap things up here for today. Hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did enjoy today's episode, make sure to leave a like down below. Leave me a comment what you thought the best part of today's episode was. Or if, you, if you have any feedback for me, would love to hear it. As well as if you're new around here, feel free to subscribe. But thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.